Okay, boys and girls, it's good to see all of you again. Thanks so much for letting us come again today. Uh, we're here for Sit, Stay, Read. As you know, uh, we always read books about some dogs and then we do some writing about them after. Um, Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Schneider and I'm executive director and co-founder of Sit, Stay, Read here in Chicago. And we are a literacy organization that uses dogs as a tool to help kids learn to read. Today we have Spinny, and Spinny does a lot of tricks, so the kids love that. Um, then we have Brady, who we call our cow dog, because he looks like a cow. And Shandy is actually the founder of Sit, Stay, Read. She's the original Sit, Stay, Read dog. Um, the great thing about our program is we have proven results. The kids with our program have improved their reading scores by 24 words per minute, whereas kids without our program only improve nine words per minute. So that's a significant difference. We're very proud of that. There are a lot of benefits to having the dogs in the program. First, of course, kids love dogs, so it gets them excited, um, makes them excited about reading. And what we find, too, is that the dogs lower the anxiety about reading. When you're a struggling reader, it's really hard work to read out loud. And the dogs make it more fun, the kids are engaged. And what we hear from the teachers, too, is that even after we leave, the whole rest of the day, the kids are calmer, they're more respectful of each other, they're even better listeners. My name is Sandra Virtue and I'm a psychology professor at DePaul University. Research shows that early exposure to print is essential for children to develop successful reading skills. And Sit, Stay, Read provides a great opportunity for children not to get only exposure to print, but age-appropriate uh, material that they can read and repeated practice in a very friendly, non-threatening environment. It's so much fun. There, there is nothing more exciting than coming in and being able to say, ask the child how old they are and to see their response when Spinny counts how old they are. Now, do you think Spinny knows how old you are? You think so? You think he's very smart? We'll see. Spinny, how old is Tashi? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then to tell them, well, he's so smart because you can ride him. <laughs> And they totally make that connection that, oh, that makes sense, the dog can count because I read to him. It makes me feel good because you get to re actually read to a dog and make them just sit down and listen. If you might read to a little kid, they might not yeah. listen to you. Yeah. They'll just in, in, yeah. ignore you. Since they read means to me is that the dog sit down, they stay with the person they're with, and they listen to the other person read. There are lots of kids that need reading help all across the country, and it's our dream to bring Sit, Stay, Read to every one of those kids. So we're assembling the resources right now, the people, the money, the skills, to make that dream a reality.